six miles from Main Street in Fredericksburg, Augusta Vin Winery will take you away to France without even getting on a plane. The Estate Vineyard Winery has a wine tasting room intentionally nestled in the back of their property so you can drive through and see all the varietals. Really makes you feel like you're in another country. So the latitude here in the Texas Hill Country is similar to that of France. So what you'll find here at Augusta Vin is French and Spanish varietals. Big question though, how does it go from the vine to the bottle of wine? We're gonna find out. With 60 acres to consider, there is a lot of work to be done here. And I'm talking about the winemaking process. I have the head winemaker, Dane, joining me now. And this is a very delicate process, right? Yes, Dan, it sure is. We're just wrapping up the end of harvest right now. Uh, we have about 122 ferments going right now. So there's a lot of quality control involved, paving these little ferments through. Uh, the winemaking is really more of a management process. And so just making sure that the, the grapes through to the wine uh, does its thing. and. Uh, uh, and we just help it along along the way. And we'll go around today and show you through the whole entire process. I love that. So you've ever wondered how do those grapes turn into that glass of wine? You're gonna find out today, right? Sounds good to me. All right, let's get started. Out here we receive all our grapes. We receive them in a thousand pound bins, so roughly half a ton. And so the difference between white and red, white will go into straight into the press where we'll separate the skins and the juice. The juice will then go inside to the winery where we'll ferment and settle separately. Uh, the reds, however, will go straight inside with the skins and the juice. And we want the skins in contact with the juice for the red ferment, so that we, that's where all the color and flavor comes from. Got it. So we start here, then yes, we go sir. inside. All right, so after the pressing where we separate the skins and the juice, Juice. We then go through a process called settling where we will separate the solids that are remaining in the juice. Uh, and then once that is done, it takes about 24 to 48 hours. Mm -hmm. We'll then suck the clears off of that sediment and then rack it to a different tank. Mm -hmm. uh, once it's in a different tank, we'll inoculate it with some yeast so we have some control over it. And here's an example of the whites uh, oh, finishing wow. up fermentation. So from the whites to the red, this looks beautiful. I love seeing all the grapes in here. Yeah, so well, this is 10 and a half tons of our petit syrah from our vineyards. Okay. Uh, and the irrigator that you see on here, we use to keep on bringing the juice up and over on top of the skin so that we can get as much color as we want. All right, Daniel, well, here we go. We're gonna go with a little different process here. Tell me about what we're gonna do. Correct, here. so this is different from the previous process of where we were pumping over. So this is an, a different way. It's a more hands-on way of doing it. It's called punch downs. So it's where you take a tool and you actually forcefully push the skins into the juice okay. or fermenting mass. And you do this about three times a day uh, throughout the, the fermentation process process and this achieves the same principle. The advantage of this, we're not having seeds going through the pump, so we're not grinding up seeds and getting any unwanted tannins, but it does re does require a little bit of elbow grease. So elbow you could grease. use your hands, which you could go ahead and just okay. stick your hands right in and push it up and mix just it around. Just like go on in? Go for it. Okay. Oh my gosh. Or you could use a, a proper tool, which is our punch down device. So maybe go with the tool instead. <laughs> and basically you just want to keep on pushing it in and basically just mixing the juice and the skins around. Do you want to give it a shot? Yeah. You don't mind my no? wine hands? <laughs> so you want to lift it almost all the way out so you can get okay. the skins all the way in. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Elbow grease. There you go. <laughs> and so the easiest way to do it is you just break the first surface and you kind of just make that hole bigger and bigger. He's and so good at this. <laughs> He's like, see, this is how. Hey, Jen, what are you doing? Oh. I know you're passionate about winemaking, but you're taking it to a whole new level. But you said the feet are better, right? It sure is. So I just decided got to get in. more to go. Okay. Oh my gosh. Better get going. <laughs> So this is the other method that we're doing right now. It's called barrel fermentation. Uh, we'll actually age the wine on its lees, which is a dead yeast. After the wine has metabolized all the sugars, the yeast will die and fall to the bottom. And so what we'll do is use a term called patronage, which is stirring and bringing all that yeast back up into suspension. And what that will do is it'll help to broaden the palate and just give it another layer of com complexity. This is the best way of having wine, okay. uh, personally. Is this uh, how you sit, you sit here and sip it from here? Oh yeah. <laughs> 
That's the best way. Where we are right now is the aging room. Mm -hmm. So this is our barrel room. We hold about 800 to 1,000 barrels in here. We are stored in here for about 24 to 28 months, uh, where it will age and concentrate uh, over time. Okay, I didn't trade the wine glass for a beaker, but there is definitely a science to this quality control that you guys do here, right? Yes, Jen, this is our lab. So we do most of our uh, quality control and testing. Uh, so we use this for checking our grape maturities, uh, checking our pHs, which you can see we're doing right here, right now. It's so. like a science lab, really. A lot of love goes into making wine. Oh, it sure <laughs> is. You know, and every year is very different. And why does this smell so good? Well, Seems it, familiar. It should. That's Jan's Movedra. That's the Movedra that you just stomped in. Okay, that explains it. Hmm. Good stuff. <laughs> what, you're nervous to try it? <laughs> of winemaking and here in the tasting room the best part you finally get to take a sip of the glass of wine for SA Live I'm Jen Tobias Strusky cheers